guys, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm back in the car, guys. I am back to living in my car. I'm doing a little experiment for a few days, potentially a couple weeks, where I'm living back in my car again to see if I enjoy it, to see if I wanna get back on the road more permanently, live in my car again, travel again more permanently. Um, honestly, and I wanna do an experiment about it because I haven't done it in so long. It's been well over a year and a half that I don't even know if I would enjoy it anymore. I really don't know and so I just want to do a little experiment so that I can test it out and see if I do enjoy it if I don't enjoy it anymore and so that's what this video is going to be I started recording last night uh, when I slept in the car it's like 7 30 in the morning I just woke up but I started recording last night and so I can show you some of that footage now and then then the video will keep going. <laughs> so I really hope that you guys are subscribed. I really hope that you're excited for more travel content and now for more like living and sleeping in my car content, which I know a lot of you guys have missed over the last year and a half or so. I know that you have, I've missed it too. And you know, the last several videos have been me on the road, but now this video and maybe the next few videos are going to be uh, about me like actually living in my car, sleeping in my car and all that kind of stuff. And so yeah, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you're excited for all this content. So without further ado, I'm gonna go back in time to last night and show you that footage. And then after that, you'll see more footage of literally this right here. <laughs> you guys, it is a little after midnight and it's so weird. Lately, I've been going to bed at like 9.30. Tonight, I don't know, I'm awake, but uh, you guys know my last few videos, Johnny was in them with me, but he already had plans for this weekend. And so I don't know if he's gonna be coming back with me on the road or what, I have no idea. But for right now, I am alone. <laughs> and uh, today is the day. I was literally like about to go to sleep and then I was like, oh, Katie, you need to record this. Uh, today is the first day, and let me put a little asterisk on that and I'll explain in a second. But this is the first day that I've slept in my car in almost two years, like a year and nine months or something like that. The asterisk is that Johnny and I did sleep in my car about three weeks ago, but uh, that was a little bit different because we were at a campground and uh, if you guys saw that video, there were a lot of jumping spiders at the campground and so I did not want to be outside and so we just stayed in the car but since we we're at a campground like I didn't properly set up the car we just kind of like stayed in the car and like fell asleep so this is the first time in well over a year and a half that I like properly set up my car to sleep in it at a truck stop um, I am in Montana I'm at a truck stop and I have so much stuff in my car right now that I did not even want to try to sleep in the back. And so just for tonight at least, I'm sleeping in the front seat um, and I just figured I'd turn the camera on because I literally was like about to go to bed, I'm watching YouTube and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, Katie, like you gotta put the camera on, you gotta show them your first night back. You know, I was in my car for years on and off and then more full time for years sleeping in my car, sleeping at truck stops and rest stops and stuff like that, driving around the country. Um, but the last like almost two years, I haven't been. But then, you know, Johnny and I left for our road trip a few weeks ago and we mostly stayed at campgrounds and some hotels. Um, but uh, now I'm alone and I'm back in the car and I'm back sleeping in my car tonight and I am at a truck stop. And so just quickly before I go to sleep, I just wanted to show you, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Um, but a lot of you guys know kind of one of the, the main reasons that I have my channel is to show you guys that you can still reach your goals no matter where you're at and you can still take steps and uh, you know, do really awesome things and do things that you really want to do with what you already have and with what you're able to have right now. And so, you know, a lot of people ask me why I don't have a van or an RV or something like that. And I'm like, well, I have a car and I want to make do with what I have in the best way possible. And some people want to upgrade and that's totally great, but I just haven't wanted to and I've been really uh, you know enjoying just having my car and doing car life and so right now uh, I'm sleeping in the front seat I normally sleep in the back but especially since I was on the road with someone else and even though he's not here with me now um, my car still was not organized for me to sleep in the back and so maybe you know tomorrow or something like that I might we'll see but tonight I'm sleeping in the front I'm just gonna show you I'm just babbling I'm gonna show you the mess it's a mess it is messy but i'm just going to show you kind of how i organized it right now because the main thing that i like to do i don't have my windows tinted and honestly even if i did 
I would still want to cover my windows. Um, so the main thing that I make sure to do is have my pillow, have a blanket or two for comfort, have my stuffed animals, biscuit and cornbread are here, and Moosey. I don't know if you guys know Moosey. Moosey's here as well. Um, and then, yeah, the main thing is covering all my windows. And so I'm going to show you that quick. Okay, so from my angle here, that is covered with just like windshield shade things. And then I have a t-shirt and another windshield shade or uh, like a window shade on that side, a t-shirt, a towel. And I kind of did this again because I'm in the front. Um, I kind of did it where I just only have covered the front half of the car. So I have a towel there, a towel here, my pillow here. So this seat is just reclined as far back as it can go with my pillow. And then if we switch over to my left side, I have a t-shirt and another little sunshade behind that. And then, you know, I just have my stuffed animals here. And then I have a blanket here just for kind of comfort to cover the uh, seatbelt thing. And then um, I'll probably put this blanket like here-ish to um, be a little more comfortable against the door. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Like again, it's been, I think about a year and nine-ish months, maybe even 10 months since the last time like I properly slept in my car like this. And it's so weird because like when I was planning on doing it um, today, like, you know, like the last few hours before I got to this truck stop, I was like really like nervous because I haven't done it in so long. Um, but then once I got here and I set up the um, the towels and stuff, I was like, like oh, it feels like normal, you know, um, because I've done it, even though it's been a long time, I still have done it like hundreds of times. And so it just kind of feels like kind of normal now but uh yeah i don't know if i'm like just being real like honest and vulnerable i don't know if i'm gonna go back on the road full time again even part time again i don't know if i'm even really gonna enjoy this so i'm just kind of trying it out i think i mentioned that on instagram i'm not sure if i mentioned it on here recently i think i did a few months ago that i just kind of wanted to have a little trial run back in the car to see if i enjoyed it you know because my depression's been so bad my anxiety has been so bad and i didn't know if going back on the road might help you know i i'm a real big like believer in making lifestyle changes and mindset changes to kind of see what can help you you know and so i just want to try this out so i'm going to do it tonight i'll probably be sleeping in the car for at least another night or two at least just to kind of see see what I think see how I feel about it so I just wanted to record for a couple of minutes uh, show you guys my messy setup but you know this is real life this is real life and this is real car life you know a lot of Instagrammers and YouTubers and stuff might have a fancier setup in their car or their van um, but mine's a little messier mine's a little more you know this is this is just me this is just me um, and that's probably just them too you know but this is just kind of how I've done it. And this is uh, what I feel comfortable with right now. And so I just wanted to show you guys, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to watching makeup videos on YouTube. I like watching those sometimes before I go to sleep. Um, like just people talking about makeup. That's like something I really enjoy watching. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and I'll talk to you guys at some point tomorrow. Good night. It is now 1.40 in the morning. I cannot sleep at all. Um, like I said earlier, I've been going to bed really early the last probably like couple months. Um, but for some reason tonight I just cannot sleep. Um, and also sleeping in the front seat is wildly uncomfortable. I very much remember why I, uh, sleep in the back seat when I sleep in my car. Um, but there's just too much stuff and I didn't want to deal with it today. But tomorrow, um, cause I'm probably sleeping in my car tomorrow night as well at least for another night or two so tomorrow during the day i might go through some of the stuff you know reorganize see what i can put up front and see if sleeping in the back will be possible tomorrow i know when i first started out i would sleep in the front seat or i would sleep across the two front seats you know but i was you know in my mid-20s then i'm 35 now <laughs> um and uh yeah no i'm just not able to sleep not able to sleep i used to be able to sleep so well in my car but it's been a while and I'm in the front seat and it's not as comfortable. But just figured I'd give you an update. Talk to you guys later. Good morning. Uh, it is 7.20 something, 24. 
um, I did eventually sleep a little bit <laughs> like little spurts of time um, my biggest issue was just the angle I was at really hurt my neck um, when I'm in the back seat my neck isn't really bothered at all p.s i think that my neck only hurt that first night because of the pillow the rest of the nights after this spoiler alert i didn't use the pillow and my neck didn't hurt so i think that's what it was um but just sleeping like this my neck did get quite tight so again that's why i really wanted to do this kind of experiment and not just jump back into it because um i'm older now maybe it won't be as comfortable maybe i just don't enjoy doing it anymore um maybe i will love it maybe i will need to do it like i don't i don't know um but anyway i think that this was not a fair um night to make any sort of opinion or judgment because i was sleeping in the front seat so i can't really decide yet um but however the one thing i definitely can say is that i was a little nervous like during the day yesterday like i was a little nervous um just because I haven't done it in so long and I was just nervous um so during the day I drove around the town that I'm in and I looked for truck stops and rest areas and stuff and I ended up finding a, a few that looked and I did this during the day and I ended up finding a few that I thought I would feel safe at that didn't have any no overnight parking signs and they didn't have anything that seemed like weird or anything or like were bad and so i chose one of those and by the time i got here and had everything up um like i felt calm and safe about it like i didn't feel unsafe at all last night i didn't feel wary i didn't feel nervous of the other people or any safety issues or anything like that so that's a positive thing especially since during the day i was kind of nervous because i haven't done it in so long but once i had everything up i was kind of like like i felt okay um so that's that's a really good sign i think you know so again right now i don't think that i can judge the sleeping part because i was in the front seat and it hurt my neck and i could not sleep and it was warm and whatever <laughs> but in terms of like being in the car and stuff like i felt completely safe i felt completely fine um and so you know i think today what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this down quick i'm not gonna do it while i'm talking because when I'm putting this stuff up and when I'm taking it down, I like to do it as quickly as possible. I don't want people to see that I am just a person by myself in the, in this particular car. Um, and I just like to do it as quickly as possible and then leave immediately. When I get to a place that I'm sleeping, I park and immediately put everything up. And then when I wake up, I like to kind of leave early-ish. I like to leave, you know, before eight or so um, in the morning. And I, you know, I wake up, I take everything down and immediately leave just as like a little extra safety precaution. Oh, what I was saying is that I'll probably take a little bit of time today to see if I can reorganize the back seat enough that I'd be able to put everything in the front seat and that maybe I could sleep back there tonight. We'll see. Good evening. It is uh, night two in my car. Um, and uh, I did not clean out the back seat. So I'm still just leaning the front seat back, gonna try to sleep, um, hopefully a little bit better than I did last night. And yes, I'm in the exact same clothes. Cause sometimes when you live in a car, um, you don't change clothes for a couple days. Um, but yeah, I just wanna check in quickly. I don't really have any updates. I just leaned the seat back. I have my uh, pillow blankets and my stuffed animals. Um, last night I looked at my Apple watch that like tracks your sleep. I don't know how super accurate it is But I think it gives me like an idea and it said I got like a little less than four and a half hours of sleep So hopefully tonight I can do a little bit better But yeah, it's almost midnight and again I think I said earlier several times that like I've been going to bed really early lately, but last night and tonight I don't know what's going on um, but it's a little bit later and I'm gonna attempt to sleep but yeah i just like i did tidy up and and do some cleaning in my car today but just not enough that i was able to move stuff into the front seat so maybe i'll do that tomorrow i don't know um but just for now lean in the seat back have all my um you know my towels and stuff up and t-shirts and stuff to cover the windows basically the same as last night but i just wanted to check in and let you guys know that that's what's going on. And so I will talk to you in the morning, hopefully after a decent night's rest. Good night. I just woke up 
it's a little before eight. I'm so tired. Um, I'm about to just tape all this down quick. Um, but uh, I slept, I definitely slept better than I did the night before, for sure. Um, so that's good. Like I was definitely a little bit more comfortable. So I don't know if that first night was just like a fluke or I don't know, but I did sleep a little bit more. So I gotta wake up. Ugh. All right, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Maybe I'll include like one more night in this video. Hey guys, so you saw my first night and my second night in the car, and then I did sleep a third night that I just did not record, um, but that ended up going pretty well. Um, similar to the second night where I was more comfortable, I slept better, um, so I'm kind of thinking that that first night was just kind of a fluke in terms of maybe just because it was my first night in a while that I was more nervous or just... I don't know, just some other fluke that I was too hot or something like that. Um, but the second and third night were pretty good. And so this is my fourth night in the car. Everything's up and I'm ready for bed. It's about midnight. And so I am getting sleepy and I hope that I can sleep pretty well tonight, I hope. But I will just talk to you guys in the morning um, as this little experiment keeps going of me sleeping in my car. We're seeing if we can do car life again. Just, I'm still not sure yet how it is. I'm just still not sure yet if I want to do this or not. Um, first night wasn't great. Second two nights in terms of sleeping were much better. Um, but just in terms of the whole lifestyle again, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure yet. Good morning. It is like 8.30, which is a little later than I like to wake up when I'm in the car. I usually like to be out of the truck stop or parking lot or rest area or wherever I'm sleeping. I usually like to be out of there by eight but yeah last night was okay I don't it definitely was not as bad as the first night but I don't think it was as good as the second and third nights um but still pretty close so I don't know I guess sleeping in the front seat as much as I hated it that first night it's not so bad um I uh yeah I just like I did look at my car a few other times and I don't think with everything in my car right now that I'm going to be able to sleep in the back. So I think just I'm going to keep sleeping in the front and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Have I made a decision if I want to keep doing this or do it full time or, or not do it at all? No, I have not made a decision at all. I think I'm going to need to keep doing it for a little bit longer to make a proper decision. Hey guys, it is the morning after the seventh night, I believe, of sleeping in my car. I just kind of wanted to give you like my overall opinions of the last seven days that I slept in my car. And I think I already said this earlier in the video, but I'm just going to repeat it quickly. I have lived in my Toyota Garris on and off for the past almost nine years at this point. Um, maybe three years part-time, three years full-time, um, and then a couple years where I wasn't really doing it, including the last like year and a half or two years. I just have been in apartments. I have not been sleeping in my car. I have not been traveling. I have not been on the road. I have not been living out of my car. And so I wanted to do this little experiment to see if I wanted to get back on the road, to see if I wanted to do car life again. And my final decision is that I don't know yet. Um, I think I'm going to have to do it for a little bit longer to really decide, but this video specifically was about sleeping. And in terms of sleeping, a lot of you guys, again, I've talked about how I used to sleep in the back seat. And just with the amount of stuff that I have this time around, like when I used to live in my car, I didn't have as much stuff. This time around, I have yarn and I have more crafts and I have some books and stuff. So I just have a couple things that I wouldn't normally have when I was living in my car full time. Um, but I kind of didn't know if I was going to be doing it or not. So I didn't want to get rid of everything yet. And so I just have a little bit of extra stuff. So I can't really sleep in the back like I used to. So I slept in the front seat. As you saw, the first night was not good. The first night was just not good. But the rest of the nights were pretty good. Honestly, the quality of my sleep and the amount of times that I woke up in the middle of the night and the time it took me to fall asleep and stuff like that was not much different than sleeping in a bed. Is it uh, a little less comfortable? Sure. Um, but I'm a really big advocate of sometimes you have to sacrifice certain things to get what you want and to do what you want. Would sleeping in the front seat long term be good for my back or my neck? 
I don't think so. I really, really, really don't think so. I think for this experiment for another week or two, it's fine. Um, but more long term, definitely not. I would definitely figure out how to sleep in the back again. I would just get rid of more of my stuff. My quality of sleep has been really not much different, honestly, than even when I used to sleep in the back. The back is more comfortable because I can like spread out a little bit differently and I am completely horizontal. Where here, I'm on like a this kind of angle but again for this experiment it's totally fine and finding places to sleep is just as easy as I remember I have videos on that I will do more uh, in the future of you know where I sleep generally truck stops and rest areas when I sleep in the car and I pin up my towels and doing all that kind of stuff like I always used to it's just kind of the same it's the same level of ease it's the same level of comfort it's the same level of me feeling safe and so all that's really the same um, and then sleeping is again different because I'm in the front but it's not really much different in terms of quality of sleep I think the main thing that I still really need to figure out and decide is just car life in general so I think sleeping in the car finding a place to sleep actually sleeping fine I think that's been going fine but in terms of like day-to-day -day car life being back on the road being in my car all the time having everything in my car and all that kind of stuff like car life as a whole I'm just not sure. That's the thing that I'm iffy about. I'm not sure um, if my mental health would be better on the road. I'm not sure if I, uh, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm, like I'm being really honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm in the same mindset that I used to be in my 20s and early 30s where um, that's what I loved. I loved being on the road. I loved living in my car. I loved waking up and being so excited to see outside and be excited for the day. And I just don't know if I enjoy that as much anymore you know the days of the last like week ish um have not been as great um and so i don't know again if that's something i just need to get used to i don't know if it's i don't know i'm just not entirely sure so that's kind of the thing that's still holding me back and keeping me a little bit confused if i actually want to do car life so it's not really the sleeping or anything like that it's more the daytime stuff it's more the day-to-day -day. um do i want to be on the road do i not want to have a home base do i um want to have everything i own in the car you know like i just i don't know i don't know so that's why i'm doing this experiment and i just don't think that seven days in the car was long enough for me to decide and so Anyway, the days have been hard and the nights have been basically fine. Um, and so I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time, you know, being on the road, traveling and uh, just kind of see. So the end of that is I just wanted to show you guys that I am doing this experiment, that I've been sleeping in my car and uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it because I like being vulnerable with you and I am just kind of in that transition period of my life. I feel like I've been in a transition period for the last couple of years, but I'm just kind of figuring out what's best for me, what God wants for me, what is going to bring joy, what's gonna help my mental health and stuff like that. And so I need to pray more about it. I need to talk to God more about it and I need to put more effort into like the daytime stuff so we're gonna see we're gonna see if I still like it like I used to or if I just don't like it anymore and yeah I will let you guys know how that all goes oh different angle because I just remembered that I wanted to update you so I mentioned earlier in the video that Johnny left he had plans he actually had a wedding to go to and then he went to visit his parents for a little while and so he was actually gone for just longer than the weekend but um, we are going to be meeting up in a couple days we're going to travel a little bit more together uh, which is gonna be cool and he might be in another video if you guys have missed him but after that I still am interested in doing another uh, you know couple weeks in my car to finish this experiment so over the next few weeks though I am going to be doing car content so you will see a morning routine you'll probably see a nighttime routine I didn't film it yet I filmed the morning routine um, you'll probably see a nighttime routine um, you will see more videos of my car I will show you how well my car's really messy right now <laughs> It gets messy so fast. When you're living in a car, you have to organize it. If you have like stuff, some people I know just travel with, like a backpack, but if you have stuff in your car, you gotta organize it over like two days or it just becomes a mess. But I'm gonna do a car cleaning and I'm gonna do a car tour video and um, I'm going to do um, just a bunch of other like car and travel videos. And so I really do hope that you're, I feel like the lighting got weird, did it? Um, I really do hope that you are subscribed to my channel to see just more of this car content, travel content, car life, living in a car, sleeping in a car stuff. and 
just to kind of follow with my journey, you know, I really appreciate that you guys have wanted to be here over the last few years, whether I've been in the car or not. And I know a lot of you guys have missed my car content. Um, and so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And if you're already subscribed or if you just click the subscribe button, please make sure to click the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload it generally twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. But yeah, the moral of the story is that the sleeping wasn't that bad. Uh, but everything else I'm just not sure about yet. So I really hope that you guys want to stick with me on this journey. And uh, yeah, I guess I will just talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.